Welcome back, B-Fitters. Keep watching to learn how to mix up your workouts to keep them fun and get the results you're looking for. Thanks for joining, guys. I'm Elena Scantlin, and today we've got Scott Herman and Denise Austin with a pep talk to make sure you're still having fun with your fitness. And it seems a pep talk is just what Johnny needs. He asked, what kind of exercise programs can we recommend to keep him motivated? We've got your back, Johnny. Here's what Scott has to say with his suggestions. If you find yourself getting bored with your exercise routine at the gym, there's a lot of different things out there that you can do in order to spice things up a bit. The easiest thing you can do is take that current routine and change the intensity of it. This can be done by switching up the tempo for each exercise or take a shorter rest period in between each set. If you belong to a gym, maybe they offer lots of different classes that you can take, like Pilates, dance, or spin. Or maybe you want to get out of the gym and do something totally different. There's lots of places outside you can exercise. You can even take your workout routine to the beach. There's CrossFit clubs that you can join. Or maybe get a bunch of your friends together and do recreational activity like soccer or basketball. It's really up to you guys what you want to do. Just make sure that whatever you choose is heading you in the right direction towards your goal. Now Michelle also wants tips to keep it interesting. She'd like to know how she should mix up her yoga, pilates, and cardio. Who better to answer this one than our own Denise Austin. Wow, you picked three of my favorite ways to work out. Yoga, Pilates, and walking. I love it all, and guess what? It's great to mix it up. Do them all. Maybe do some walking three days a week. Maybe do Pilates one day a week, yoga another day a week. It's a really great combination because yoga gives you that length and that strength. Pilates focuses on your core, your stomach area, which we all need. It's the center of your whole body. It holds you in. And then, of course, walking is great for the heart. So you need them all. So it's really important to do all three types of workouts, toning, flexibility, and cardio. And they all count. All of them has a benefit. Have any of you guys ever participated in one of those extreme fun runs? Well, Adam wanted to know which fun run would be best for him. Adam, Scott has competed in one of those, and here are his thoughts. I think these fun runs are great. I've personally tried two of them. I've done a Spartan race and a Tough Mudder. And the main difference between them, I guess, is the competitive vibe that you get when you go. At the Spartan race, you wear a wrist bracelet, so when you start the event and get to the end, you can see what place you came in amongst everyone else, which is pretty cool if you're a very competitive person, and I am a competitive person. Uh, with a Tough Mudder, that's more of a team event where you're just trying to complete the course. There's no set time. You do have a starting time, but when you finish, it doesn't really matter. Just that you actually get to the end. And you see a lot more people at the Tough Mudders dressed up in like funny costumes and kind of going through the whole entire course as a team. Uh, you'll see people dressed as band members or cheerleaders or people in suits. All kinds of crazy stuff. The last one I did was a Tough Mudder with three of my buddies up in Vermont, and it was a lot of fun. But I will say, you need to make sure that you actually do some type of training for these events. This one we did was in May. It was a bit hotter outside. There's a lot of people kind of sitting down with heat exhaustion, a lot of people getting cramps. But you can avoid all this just by doing a bit of training. I mean, don't think that if you haven't ran 10 miles in years, that all of a sudden one day you're going to do it, and then you're going to do it on a course with obstacles and up and down hills. So, going to be realistic about this stuff. There's no event that I would really steer you away from. Just make sure you get the training in and have fun. Now it's time for my roundup to get you excited about working out again. If you're in a bit of a slump, try changing it up with some group workouts and get your friends involved. They'll keep it fun while keeping you accountable. Take your workouts outdoors, even try one of those fun runs which will give you a goal to work towards. And if you do participate in a fun run, make sure you are well prepared and have an appropriate training routine leading up to the big event. You guys can also mix up your training with a wide variety of awesome workouts here on BeFit. Shake up your fitness routine, YouTubers, and subscribe now. I'm Elena Scantlin. I'll see you next week.